this is a short video about solar panels for electric vehicles electric vehicles are battery driven and can last for and an average of 14 to 18 kilometers for every 1 kilowatt hour battery here the electric vehicles which i am referring as cars for 35 kilowatt hour battery electric vehicles can drive up to 25 kilometers to sorry 255 kilometers under wltp standards here wltp standards refers as world harmonized light duty vehicles test procedures for electric vehicles flexible solar panels are used rather than the conventional panels flexible solar panels are made of either both monocrystalline or polycrystalline flexible solar panels are lighter in weight whereas a 72 cell solar panel weighs approximately 8 kg whereas the conventional 72 cell weighs up to 22 to 25 kg solar flexible solar panels are for easy installation and they use very few percentage of labor than the conventional the deposition of photovoltaics materials on flexible substrates such as ordinary paper or cloth etc using chemical vapor deposition here this flexible solar panels uses e etfe polymer for lamination or to protect the solar cells which are printed on paper or cloth this etfe which is referred as ethylene tetrafluoroethylene and this is a fluorine based plastic the total flexible solar panel is having a thickness of 2 to 3 mm and this consists of a 135 micron paper within it and this flexible solar panel has a bending of the bendable capacity of 248 degrees the main purpose for the use of flexible solar panels rather than the convention in electric vehicles is is to protect against vibration induced damage and based on the curvature of the roof and bonnet the main advantage is its agility factor and lighter weight we can use silicon adhesive for bonding this flexible solar panels on any of the mounting structure and these flexible solar panels are not used for any large scale power production as the efficiency is ranging between 14 to 17 percent whereas the conventional solar panels are having a better efficiency of 16 to 22 percent for example if i take a electric vehicle car which is having a roof area of 2.4 square meters and a bonnet area of 0.8 square meters this electric car the total area which is having is of 3.2 square meters can produce 500 watts of energy through solar panels so here i have a small simple calculation how, how what wattage of solar panel need to be incorporated on the electric vehicle let's suppose my vehicle or the electric vehicle which we are consider is using 100 ampere hour 12 volt battery so 100 ampere hour into 12 volts which is nothing but 1200 watt hours so 1200 watt hours if i am considering 6 hours of sunlight in a day so that is nothing but 1200 by 6 which is approximately which is equal to 200 watts so due to the light visibility or due to the shading effects or due to the dim sunlight i am considering 10 to 20 percent excess of the wattage that i have generated so my wattage that i have received is 200 watts so 20 percent of it which is total coming around 240 watts so for a vehicle using 100 ampere hour a 12 volt battery we can use a panel of 240 watts so what is the total time to charge the battery is if i am using a solar panel of 240 watts so i am using a 100 ampere hour battery 12 volts and my solar panel is 240 watts so 240 watts divided by 12 which gives you the current 20 amperes so my battery size is 100 ampere hour divided by the current 20 amperes so 100 divided by 20 which is nothing but 5 hours is the total time or the rough time which is used to 
charge my battery under full condition. Thank you.